Dozens of Black Forester residents are preparing for a showdown this month over a developer's plan to build more homes in an already existing subdivision. Tomorrow, the El Paso County Planning Commission will consider the rezoning request for Flying Horse North, a 900-acre property that borders Black Forest. KRDO News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is live in that neighborhood tonight. Scott, why are neighbors pushing back so hard on the proposal? Well, Bart, it's because a developer wants to significantly increase the number of homes here on this property from the 80 or so that are here now to, believe it or not, more than 800. That same developer also wants to build Black Forest's first hotel, a luxury hotel with about 200 plus units here on the same property. But some neighbors who live here around Flying Horse North argue that the plan doesn't fit with the rest of the community. People come to Black Forest for the larger homes on spacious lots of at least two and a half acres. But a proposal to squeeze 10 times as many homes on lots as small as one acre doesn't sit well with many neighbors. We spoke with two community leaders who represent hundreds of Black Forest residents. And their question is why? I'll be, I'll, I'll be very honest and very blunt. That was brought up at one of the community meetings that the developer held. And the response was to increase profits. That was the response from the developer? From the developer's okay. representative. The developer, H.R. Green Development, located in the Briargate area, did not respond to our request for comment. Opponents say the proposal violates the county's own master plan to keep lot sizes from being too small to avoid congestion in their spread out community. Other concerns include access to water, where homeowners rely on wells, and the need for a new fire station, which would be the third in Black Forest. So all new expansion has to be covered by existing Black Forest residents, and we feel that's not fair. That would be a property tax increase, probably. Yes, sir. Okay. And county leaders say that they will not comment on this issue until the El Paso County Planning Commission votes on the matter tomorrow. And then in two weeks, El Paso County commissioners also are expected to vote on this issue. We'll keep you updated. We are live in Black Forest tonight. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.